Here's my little rust knock mill. Um, I took it apart, cleaned it up. I didn't really restore it, just made sure everything was working good. Uh, the only thing is my motor is a little noisy, but I'll turn it on here and run it for a second and kind of show some of the people out there what these things are about. So it's basically just a little mini mill. Tell my, mo my motor is a little noisy, but you can set the depth on it. Little tables work real good. I got those fixed so they're not so hard. They got little um, set di uh, micrometers on there you can set. Um, changing the speed is pretty simple. You just loosen this guy up on the side, turn this motor, open this cap, and then there's a set of, just like on a normal mill, there's a set of belts. You just change the belts and then you tighten it back up. Clamp that down, that tightens the motor in place, and then forward to reverse. And then if you want to, this is a up vertical adjustment. Um, you can also tilt this whole head um, after um, back, however you say that. Then you can also tilt this whole head sideways, but uh, I don't really ever plan on doing that. All the stuff I'm going to be doing is just going to be little, little tiny stuff here. I got a chuck in there. Um, the collets right there. It takes DA100 chucks or collet, sorry. And I probably won't be using this guy too much. This is an old one, anyways, an old Jacobs. Uh, I'm going to get a set of mill bits, and then I'll do most of my stuff off of there. Then I can lower it down. And I got jigs for the specific stuff that I'm doing, so not a big deal. Um, so that's about it. I just got this thing three, four weeks ago, and I finally today got a chance to clean it up. It was kind of rusty. It sat in some guy's basement for probably the last 40, 50 years or whatever, 30 years, and it had some rust and stuff on it, but I was able to uh, clean it up fairly good, and I guess without doing a full-blown restoration, it turned out pretty good. Uh, my motor, I'm going to see if I can get that fixed here in the next week or so and see what my little noise is. But yeah, there you go. Little mill. Come around the other side here and kind of the same thing. There's all the all the tilting, you know, you can cant it side to side. Um, this just goes in and out. That doesn't go side to side. And I'll show you the under the cover here. This is just a safety cover. The earlier models didn't have this, but you can see there's the different drives and on the motor there's five different uh, pulley diameters on there too. So Pretty simple, not much to it, but they're handy little machines. This is a Model 80, by the way. Handy little machines and if you're not doing big work, they're nice little machines. So there you go.